Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. It's been a couple of days since I last vlogged as Saturday I was at work for half the day and then the afternoon when I got back home I just had a very chilled afternoon, really not doing much, so there really wasn't anything to vlog. Then yesterday, which was Sunday for me, my favourite day of the week, I was planning on vlogging and I had a really nice day planned. Me and my parents were actually going to go out, as it was a really nice day as well. We were going to go out to like a park close by, sort of have like a picnic type lunch as well. And then, as it's the fair here at the moment, we were going to go look at the day fair and go around some of the stalls there and stuff. Then probably go for a nice walk with the puppies and then also we were planning on going out for dinner later so it would have been a really nice day but when I woke up I had really bad stomach cramps which weren't too bad when I first got up but then after eating breakfast it just got so bad and I just felt like I was going to throw up constantly and then I basically spent the whole of yesterday in bed I can't even tell you how many naps I had and they weren't even just like short naps. Each nap was about like an hour, an hour and a half. I spent most of the day like half asleep, half in bed, half watching something, like just basically ended up doing nothing, which was so annoying because I really wanted to get out and do everything that we planned, but I just so didn't feel up to it either. And then today I've woken up, I was feeling better. But then now since having breakfast again, I've started to get some cramps. Not as bad as yesterday yet. I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully it won't come in as strong as it's actually a public holiday here today and me and my mum were planning on going on a shopping trip out as it's just in our area that it's a public holiday so we were going to go to the shops that are like a bit further away that is still open today and go for a nice shopping trip ready for LA as that's only in is it like three weeks away two three weeks I'm going to say three weeks away and do some summer shopping there hopefully I feel up to that I'm just kind of seeing how I feel and if it gets any worse so that we're not all the way out there and I feel like awful also yes I was hoping to get some filming done too in the morning but that just never <laughs> happened as I just really didn't feel up for it so fingers crossed today I managed to get some filming done and also have a nice shopping day with my mum I really hope so it's currently like half 10 I want to say yeah so I'll just see how I'm feeling see how it goes hopefully I'll manage to get done what I'm planning on doing today I also might have like a wardrobe clear up before we go shopping and actually see what stuff I've got what kind of stuff I need and also just remind myself of all my summer stuff because like if there's stuff that I bought, especially last year that was new, I might not remember it now because maybe I only wore it a couple of times or whatever, or especially if I go towards the end of summer. So I might do that to actually see what I need and what kind of things I've got already so I don't buy anything that's similar to something that I've already got, if that makes sense. So I might do like a quick sort of spring clean of my wardrobe this morning slash these drawers down here as well because I haven't really worn any shorts yet this year so I can't remember what shorts I've exactly got. So I kind of want to look through that because I keep seeing nice ones in shops but I'm like I can't remember if I've got any similar to this already or not so might start doing that now and then get myself ready for the day and either then film or get off shopping and then film later I don't know I will see. <laughs> and I haven't actually found anything that I wanted to get rid of but it has reminded me of a few things that I'd forgotten that were in there and that I'd forgotten that I actually have so that's always good I quite like rediscovering stuff because I feel like I have cleared it out fairly recently so that's why I didn't really find anything that I wanted to get rid of but I am now going to have a look through my drawers as well as this is where I keep like all my bottom halves basically so like my shorts and jeans and things like that so I'm gonna have a little look through there now remind myself of what shorts and stuff I've got already although now my cramps are really starting to kick back in again I'm really hoping I don't end up like yesterday where I was literally just in bed the whole day really not feeling well I'm kind of feeling a bit nauseous again so we'll have to see hopefully it won't get as bad as yesterday though fingers crossed I've actually managed to get rid of a few pairs of shorts and jeans that I never really wear, which is a good success. Literally, I'm so bad at clearing stuff out. I'm always such a hoarder and hold on to like everything way more than I need to. But yeah, I've actually found some items there to get rid of, which is good because my trouser drawer was starting to overflow a bit and it was really hard to close. And now I've actually managed to like close it 
fairly easily. I don't know how that stuff actually fitted in before, but I've managed to shut it now. And I've got that all sorted, so that's so good. And it feels good to actually get rid of some stuff as well. Especially when it's just sort of piling up. <laughs> kind of feel like I need to. And I'm also just catching up with last night's Love Island as well. While I'm having a clear out as, yeah, I went to bed at like, I think, probably half nine. I seriously thought I wouldn't sleep through the night after having so many naps yesterday. But I actually did sleep until about nine this morning. I think I woke up once at like six to go to the loo, but that was it. So, I had a pretty good night's sleep, to be honest, although I woke up still feeling tired this morning. Still kind of got cramps, not come on too bad. It's always better when I'm sat down, and then whenever I stand up, it comes on more. So, I don't know, and I just don't really know what it is. I just hope it goes away soon, though. I literally just finished having my shower, and now the water pressure's gone really low. So, I'm thinking there's probably a leak or something in the street. I'm going to have to look like they were trying to fix something this morning. And... I literally timed that perfectly because I pretty much got out of the shower, went to go wash my hands and then the water had gone. So I'm so happy that I had a shower when I did. I'm just hoping they don't turn the water off completely though because they normally end up doing that at some point. At least for the moment there still is some water. I'm about to try and film a video but I've currently got these two buzzy flies in my room. And I just can't get them out. They're just hovering here in the middle and they're going to be really annoying. I don't think you can see them on this camera but they're really like buzzy as well so you can probably hear it i don't know i just can't get them to get out this window i'm like trying to waft them that way but they just seem to be going the opposite direction which isn't really working out too well well i've managed to get my video filmed which is good there was still one of the flies in here i think i got one of them out for sure but the other one, I don't know, it didn't seem to be making much of a noise though, so hopefully it's okay. I'm just importing the footage over to my computer now, and yeah, then I might head down and try and get some lunch. It's currently 20 past one, haven't had anything since breakfast, but I'm still feeling a bit kind of nauseous and a bit like meh. So I don't know, but I will see. I might just go and have like some very plain kind of lunch and see how I feel after that and then maybe this afternoon me and my mum will head to the shop so I'll have to see how I'm feeling. I really want to go though so hopefully I'll feel up to it. Decided I'm going to brave the shops in the end. I mean I'm still not feeling 100% but it kind of comes and goes. I'll get a moment where I'm completely fine and then another moment where it just full on comes on so hopefully I'm going to be alright. I might just have to <laughs> sit down every now and again. Oh. <laughs> my dad's just going to move his car out the way and the puppies think he's leaving so now very upset about that. <laughs> Bob's has also figured out how to open the door, so he tries to jump up and escape, don't you? But we've locked it. So you're trapped in here, aren't you? <laughs> Got a bit of a socks and sandals situation going on, but I do quite like these shoes. Definitely not with the socks, though. But I think I will be getting these. Just had a pretty successful shop at the shop now. I've got quite a few heavy bags here. Actually, to be fair, I've only bought things from three shops, but felt like I've bought quite a bit. We're now going to head to Dunstall's. My mum wants to head there, but we were just at the shopping centre. Now looking for the car. Yeah, Which side did we pump? It was over that. Hang on. That's awesome. I feel like it's possibly That's over awesome. here. Yes, there we are. <laughs> Found the car. It's all good. We always have a bit of problem with that. They've actually got a pretty nice home section in Duns. I haven't been here in the longest time and it's all changed a lot since I last came. It's like been made a lot like posher as well, but that's just some quite nice stuff. Oh, I really like these prints actually. And they've got some really nice home bits and pieces and I love a good home section. So me and my mum are back from shopping now and I thought I'd just give you a quick haul of what I got. I mean, I didn't actually get too much. I felt like I was trying on a lot of stuff, but didn't actually end up buying like a crazy amount. I got... A few bits and pieces from H&M first of all. I got a couple of tops in here. So the first one is this little one that's like this. And it's sort of like a kind of knitwear type material in a way. I don't know how to... Oh, what is this called? It's cro Is it cro crochet or something like that? I swear this is called... I'm probably saying that wrong, but I know the word I mean. I think that's what this kind of material is called in this pattern but I just thought this would be really nice for wearing to like the beach or whatever with like a bikini under it and yeah this was only what was this how much okay this was 20 euros actually so it's kind of expensive for this kind of thing but not I mean it's decent and then I also got this top from there as well which is a similar kind of shape actually but it's a white little kind of cropped top which has got a ribbed pattern on it 
hang on if I can actually turn this the right way around, there we go. So yeah, it's got this ribbed kind of pattern on it and again it's sort of like a little v-necked top and yeah i thought that would just look really nice for like some high-waisted shorts or something then i also bought this pair of shoes which i think i kind of briefly showed you when i was trying them on from h&m which kind of like wedge sandal type things and these are really comfy so i feel like these could do for evening or day they work perfect for like both of them and these were again 20 euros and yeah this little other white top was how much eight euros so not too bad and then I did also get another pair of shoes actually from this German shop I never know how you pronounce that Deichmann Deutschmann I have no idea how you say that so I always just call it the German shoe shop because I'm not sure how to pronounce the name from here I actually got a pair of sandals that look like this and they've got this kind of pretty sparkly leaf on them and then they're sort of golden rose goldy in colour and I just thought these were really pretty and also these were I think these were 20 as well a lot of my stuff was 20 euros today yeah these were also 20 so pretty good and then I did of course pick up a couple of bits and pieces from Holland and Barrett as I always do let's see what I've got in here I have got a couple more Trek flapjacks because I always eat these and they're so tasty. I also picked up the Coco Coconut one to try as I've never had it before so I thought might as well give it a go. And then I also picked up a couple more of their almond bars from Meridian which are really tasty. And then some more cacao powder as well and yeah that is everything that I got so fairly successful shop. Not like bought a crazy amount but still got pretty decent amount of things I would say. I've now just got to find somewhere though to put my new shoes because my shoe rack is completely full so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that one. Cooking up a very easy dinner tonight we'll see of Meridian. I've got their korma sauce again tonight we're gonna have that one tonight and then I just fried up some chicken first added the sauce and then added in some fresh coriander then also have cooked up some rice so a nice simple easy meal but very tasty. You two sharing that cardboard box? <laughs> when you're easily entertained. I'm about to wash off all my makeup, get my pyjamas on, get nice and cosy, get settled in front of the TV because there's EastEnders about to start by like 15 minutes and then Pulse is on, Love Island's on later tonight as well. Hopefully I'll still be awake enough to watch that as I'm like feeling a bit sick still. I don't know, it's just really weird. It like comes and goes so much, it's so strange. So really hoping that tomorrow I like feel 100% better. Because, I mean, I definitely feel better than yesterday, but, I don't know, it's still kind of lurking a bit. But, I might end up having another early night, I don't know, I will have to see. But I'm really hoping that I'm awake tonight <laughs> to watch Love Island. But I just thought I'd end the vlog here in case I do end up falling asleep or end up not feeling so well again and going to bed. So, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Smash the thumbs up if you did. Click the little red subscribe button down below if you're new. And I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, with a brand new vlog. Night!